<laughs> to the best show on Broadway. Welcome back, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is an actor you know from Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, The Night Of, and The Big Lebowski. His new film is The Batman. Some event, huh? Brought out the one guy in the city more reclusive than me. Thought you'd never leave the shoreline. Aren't you afraid someone will take a shot at you? Why? Because your father ain't around. Oz, you know Bruce Wayne? Wow, is that right? His father saved my life. I got shot in the chest. Right here. I couldn't go to no hospital, so we showed up on his doorstep. Operated right on the dining room table. Kid here, he, he saw the whole thing. Up on the stairs, looking down. I remember your face. You don't think that meant something he did then? It means he took the Hippocratic Oath. Hippocratic Oath. That's good. Please welcome back to The Late Show, John Turturro. <laughs> Nice to see you. Isn't it pleasant? Uh, thank you. Nice to see you. Great again. to Thanks see you. Thanks for being back. Thanks well, thank for being you. back. Uh, you know, time doesn't mean anything anymore because of no. the last couple years. No, we're all on Zoom, so But that's the, it, the so. thing is, is that I just found out moments ago when I was talking to my producer here, the last time you were here was February 27th, yeah. 2020. That's it was right. right before everything shut down. That's right. Okay. And it's lovely to have you back. Well, it's after lovely two to be years. back. And yeah. that, that was the day before your birthday, right? Yeah. The yeah, no, right. day before yeah. your birthday, February 28th. Right. So, and now you're about a week away from your birthday. <laughs> Thank you for making it a tradition. <laughs> yes, it's almost to like celebrate. Every two years, us. it's like a half a leap year type exactly. of thing. Yeah, <laughs> you're about to be the big six five. Yeah. You got any plans? How are you going to I'm not retiring. No, 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 no. but no, still, no, collect, still collect the Social Security. Yeah. You've been paying in. No, they, they send you that money. AARP stuff, and you're like, I, I put it in the garbage. <laughs> and I'm like, I, you know. You have a party? Is there a big celebration? No, I have a dinner with my family. Well, we just we just saw a clip of you in uh, the new movie, The Batman. Right, the I Batman. love the the. <laughs> the Batman. The Batman. <laughs> now, you're playing... Carmine Falcone, right. my boss in, right. in, uh, in the in city. He's in the, uh, the comics, you know, the, the Frank yeah. Miller comics, Year sure. One, The Last Halloween, mm -hmm. everything. And uh, opposite uh, uh, Robert Pattinson's uh, uh, Batman, Batman. There. Uh, I don't associate you necessarily with playing a deadly baddie, like your bad guy I who was, would kill you. I played bad guys when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And then I tried to, you know, get away from that a little bit. But I, I, I played a few bad guys in my day. Sure. Miller's, Miller's Crossing. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, he's that know. Bernie Birnbaum. Yeah, yeah. He's like yeah. a weak bad guy. Yeah, this, this is, is the like guy. A super tough guy. He's sort of the, the man behind the curtain, you know, mm -hmm. sort of the predator who, you know, offers his services to people as a benefactor and then... He kind of, you know, owns them, you know. Right. In a way. It's, it's very menacing. They even that yeah. little clip. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I you know, some. When you play a bad guy, it's kind of fun because you get to be sort of irresponsible in some ways. Uh, what do you mean? But like, you, uh, have to, like... you get to do things that you can't do at home. You know what I mean? Oh, sure. Like not washing dishes, sure, you know, not sure, picking sure. up your clothes, you know, not have your wife tell you like, what, what are you doing, Stephen? You know, <laughs> this is, you know. But uh, I, you know, I kind of grew up not that my father was a builder and he was a very honest guy, but he had plenty of jobs where he had to work for these type of people, and you know, he used to always. He worked for this one particular guy who was a bodybuilder, and he was, you know, and model. He was named, they used to call him Superman, another DC comic guy, because he, he had a body like Superman. Yeah. And my father used to tell me, don't ever look him in the eyes. You know, when you talk to him, just look, keep your, your eyes on the ground. Uh, and so, really? you know, for real, because he was afraid, like, that he would seduce me or. You know, like, you know, because they draw you into their web. Say, what can into I do for the, you, kid? the glamour of evil, yeah, as we yeah. say. And, uh, yeah, and he, you know, he thought he was so strong. And uh, one day, my uncle, who was very strong, they were looking at this big girder, which was part of a foundation. And he was saying, I think I could move it. You know, because he probably killed people, so he thought he could move the girder. <laughs> and uh, 
he tried and he, he couldn't do it. And then my uncle, who was really strong, who knew how to do it with his legs, yeah. you know, was very heavy, a big, and he took it off the cinder block and the guy like looked at him like, well, you know, I could still kill you, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Don't feel too uh, big. No, but those kind of people, it, it, they really are, you know, they're really parasitic. So yeah. I've kind of grew up always staying away from that. But when you do something like this, you know, you, you try your best to... You got something to tap into there, at least a little experience. To, to tap into. A look in yeah. the yeah. eye. Because it's look... kind of a film noir-ish detective yeah. story. Yeah. You know? Well, B Batman's film noir-ish. Yeah, right? but I mean... this one is really, uh, really real film noir in many ways. Are you, because are you... you see them trying to solve the crime and sort of Batman becoming who we get to know him. You know, he's at that stage where he's sort of awakening. At the stage where you were talking about with our, you know, kids at between a certain age where they're still... They yeah. don't know who they are, you know. Yeah. And I was thinking about you. You'd be great in a film noir. I would be. Yes. Okay. Okay. You'd be who, like, wait, wait. Yeah, who no, am I? No. Who you'd be I, great in a film noir. Am I a, the killer? No, the no. Detective? You'd be like, who am I? Like Fred McMurray. Fred McMurray when he was in Double Indemnity. Right. Who? Yeah. Who, like he's a he's a killer, but no one expects him. He seems like he's Everyone, a nice guy. Everyone, yeah, you got all dead bodies behind you and stuff like that. <laughs> you'd be great. Fantastic. Shh. You know what I mean? And then Jean Baptiste and I, we'd, we'd, we'd find, we'd be the detectives, and we, you know, we'd, we'd arrest you, we'd bring you, you down. John, <laughs> yeah. You and you guys team yeah. up to take yeah. me down. Yeah. No, and but, nobody but believes you. And, and you're nobody a good believes actor. you. Right. Because I'm Stephen Colbert. No, no one but you could, you could, you're, you're a good actor. I know, yeah, you are. So. John yeah. Turturro just said I'm yeah, a good actor. No, you could be. I would cast you in a film noir. You would cast me? Yes, in a film, definitely. Done. Do you can it. maybe you direct. Be... Direct me in a film. I'm in. I'm available. Okay. I'm booked. Year, Can you say, get me in the new... How about the Batman? There'll be, there, there'll be another Batman, I'm sure, after this. <laughs> there'll be sure. the Batman, you know... Yeah. Part. More Batman. Yeah, you know, more Batman. <laughs> we have to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. When we come back, John and I will talk about our new movie we're doing together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>